Alright, I want to start out this video by saying thank you. I got my first uh, order of North Fan Cichlid food. I hope they love it. I've heard a lot of great things. I'm really happy. It, it came with two Sour Patch Kids, which is pretty awesome. A pen and a handwritten letter saying thank you. So, all I can say back is no, thank you. I'm sure this food will be much appreciated by all of my fish. So I picked up a new light. I got it off of Craigslist for 50 bucks. It's a reef light. It's pretty awesome. The thing is, it did have two metal halide lights in the middle. The problem with that was one, they're super expensive and I don't want to pay the money for it. And two, um, they cause a lot of heat. The fan in the, in the hood was broken already. So it made a lot of racket. So I just modified the hood to put my 36 inch LED bar. And I made some brackets, it holds it in. Got a little bit of silicone down the track. So this glass pane, I don't know if I can get this to sit up here. Is that breaking things? I'm good at breaking things. So if I take this, this glass pane will slide back and forth just to cover these wires. And I hit this. I can reach under here easily to turn that off. But when it's, either way, when I don't need to hit the switch, Put the glass pane over it. This glass pane on the other hand, I put a bead of silicone right here. That way, I don't do what I almost did the first time I picked this up and break my finger. I picked this up, turned it on end, had my hand in here, and the glass pane slid all the way down from one end really fast and smashed my thumb and almost broke my finger. So, don't do that at home, I guess. But yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna take the T5 bolt, the inside one on each track, and I'm gonna swap it out with like a hyper white type color. Because as you could see, my fish tank is very blue. And the blue, as much as I like the uh, ultraviolet spectrum, the blue washes out the pinks, greens, and yellows, and reds, pretty much every other color, to the point where the tank isn't as good looking. Uh, the, the bulbs would be awesome if all I had was a reef tank. The bulbs would be great, because then those reefs with those bright colors would really pop. But, because I don't have that type of color I uh, yeah sorry I was trying to set that back down on my little makeshift holder it's just a box I just put some electrical tape on the side to keep it from sliding around that's just what I've got for right now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna build some kind of unit to hang it I want it up about this high but this was just my work in progress so far. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna put two more T5 white bulbs in there to kind of offset that blue ultraviolet color that those UV lights get. And then what I wanna do is I wanna use, like replace these fake plants. I wanna put a row of real plants in little tiny pots along the back edge. And I'll see. If it doesn't work, you know, and they eat the plants, then they eat the plants, it's no big deal, but I think the color contrast with uh, with having the the bright colored fish and the bright green plants will uh, will look really good. You know, see that's that's it right now with just the LED on. Unfortunately, I've got the light my phone on. I don't know how to turn that off while recording. No.
I don't know. Anyway, so uh, it does give it this weird like shadow, like green screen effect on that back wall. I really need to get a either a 3D background or black background. But anyway, like I was saying, so uh, yeah, you can see just how like blue the whole tank becomes with those on. So I'm thinking if I only have one ultraviolet and one white on each side, or maybe even just this one ultraviolet and the other three bulbs white, I think it would really help the color contrast a lot. Well, let me know what you think. Uh, uh, I mean, really, I would love to hear what you guys think on even using a reef light on an African cichlid tank in the first place or a reef light on a planted tank, you know? Uh, what are your opinions on that? What What do you think about doing that? I, it's, I haven't heard much about it. It might be a horrible idea. If it's a horrible idea, I'd love to know why. Oh, yeah, so I got fish in the mail. I got this guy. I got three of these guys. He's a lemon jake. I was very excited. I was worried because I ordered them Wednesday. They got to the post office Friday night. And they sat there all weekend. And they just came in a couple minutes ago. And they're all alive and healthy. Man, these fish don't like the light on my phone, but that guy got a little nipped up. He was from the last order I made online. But he's doing good now. This is the pink one I bought my girlfriend. He's got a little bit of, uh, they trimmed his fins, you could say. Quite a bit. Because apparently I'm not allowed to own pretty fish in this tank. They, uh, they're pretty good about making sure that nobody has good looking fins. They're a bunch of assholes. So let's go. I'll give you guys an update on the, uh, the office tank real quick. Alright, here we are in the office. My dirty tank that I don't clean, obviously. Anyway, one of the guys from the last online order is still in here. He was beat up pretty bad. I didn't want to put him in the tank in the condition he was in. Uh, these three little... Those are three Victorian cichlids. See, I need to pay more attention. I thought I ordered one three-inch Victorian cichlid. And I ordered three one-inch Victorian cichlids. So, you know. Um, yeah. Read when you're spending money. And then this guy is the Otter Point, who I have showed in previous videos. He was pretty beat up. I put him back... Uh, I actually had him in this little tank as a hospital tank for a while. He got back to health. He was looking really good. Put him in the main tank, and man, he fought everybody in sight. So he will live out his life um, alone, most likely. I may get an Otter Point female or two and see if I can just use him as a breeder. And then the Bunas, my Mobunas bred. Now I don't know if you can see through the dirty glass, but they have a bunch of little babies. And that's a bunch of peas. I boiled some peas to feed all these guys last night. And then yeah, this is now the gold barb grow out. And those are all my fat little gold barbs. You're getting there. Probably sell them for a dollar a piece. Maybe cheaper. I don't know. But yeah. So that's where I'm at with my hobby. 
let me know what you guys think any suggestions I'm gonna start breeding and growing these guys out so if you could suggest anything on uh, easier way to do that what I want to do is a tank divider like this I want to get a 55 uh, long and just do a bunch of tank dividers in it and instead of doing separate tanks that way I could use one heater to heat one column of water but that's a horrible idea let me know why uh, yeah I'll catch you next time